Well, I'm here at the JVC stand here at NAB 2015. We always got to come and visit JVC whenever we turn up one of these shows. And uh, the man we like to speak to, of course, is Gustav. And Gustav Hi. is here. Hi, Gustav. Hi. Good to nice see you. Nice to see you again, yeah. And you. Uh, we've got a couple of things to talk about, but first sure. of all, uh, let's talk about some software updates. Yeah, software updates as usual on NNEB or IBC. Mm -hmm. uh, as I mentioned you, we want to help our customers, yeah. which have already our GYHM 650, GYHM 850, or GYHM 890. Yeah. So we're coming with a great update for them. So we add for the live streaming RTMP protocol, okay. which allows you to go to the most common CDN of the video hosting yeah. network, and that allows you to stream directly from the camcorder to Ustream, right. to YouTube, or to Wowser, any of yeah. this platform. is a great opportunity to get, go to these platforms. Okay. Furthermore, we increase the bit rates. So in case of UDP, if you're going to a cable network, we go up to 12 megabit streaming yeah. right from the camera. We, uh, and for the 60 protocol, for the people who are using the 60 broadcast cloud solution, we have now also higher bit rate for 60, up to five megabit per second, yeah. and a variable adaptive bit rate set up depending on the cloud service and the, the quality of service on the network. I think that's a great message yeah. for them to get an upgrade of that camcorder. So now we're supporting RTMP, RTSP, UDP, TCP, and the 60 protocol in the streaming yeah. is the most benefit camera right built in yeah. for our GBC products. Uh, now you guys are always moving forwards with your research and yeah. development and that's what's going on here. Yeah. So what we are looking here is, you know, that this message is high dynamic range imaging. Yeah. So we create here a 36-inch uh, uh, real projection system based yeah. on our own DLA technology, yeah. which allows us to have a high brightness and high contrast on that side, yeah. and it allows us to do high dynamic range images. Right. The basic idea of that screen is, of course, not the moving image. is for the car automotive industry right. to make light developments happens. For example, when you're in your car, you have your intraneur lights, yeah. you have your braking lights, your yeah. blinkers, your front lights. Yeah. And in the, in the development of this, it's, it's a very hard job to do the writing and get the lightning, beacon lightning. Okay. And that's why you need high dynamic range images. Right. So this is one thing. In case of the future watch is use that for moving images. Yes. So what we're seeing here is an R&D camera. This is right. not a concept camera. This is yep. really a camera. It looks almost finished, but it isn't, yep. definitely yep. not. That is a high dynamic range image with yep. three super 35 millimeter sensors right. uh, made from us, built in to create that high dynamic range moving images. And when you see the images where it's shooting, for example, the trumpet, which yeah. you see the flute there, yeah. you see the peak lightning, and you get this high dynamic range from the camera section yeah. in the combination with the right display technology, yeah. you get this high dynamic range. And that's the future for future watch where we are looking for and develop for the next generation of cameras and also displays. Gustav, that's great. We're just going to quickly pop over and have yeah. a look at another area of the stand okay. as well. Yeah. So, Gustav, what are we looking at here? Yeah, what we're looking at here is, you, as you know, we have our super 35 millimeter camera. Yep. So we also built a box camera, which is based on the super 35 millimeter. Yep. And this is a perfect uh, solution to use that on a PT set. Right. And we're starting up to do a cooperation with the UK company Bradley. Yep. So, and you can see here a solution, PT set solution, uh, with a high 4K resolution camera with yep. our camera head on that PT set from Bradley. Brilliant. We've looked at a lot as always. Uh, as far as availability, let's look at the software side of things. When are people going to get hold of the software? Okay, for the software update, uh, expecting end of May, beginning, yep. uh, end of May, middle of June. Yep. So they can watch our website, www.gvcpro.eu, yep. and go to the support area, and then click your camera type, and you will get the firmware update. And as usual, the firmware update, once you did it, it's about an issue from about 10 minutes and you have a basically new camera features and a new update of the camera. Brilliant. Good stuff, thank you very much. Fasc You're welcome, fascinating always. as always. Uh, go and have a look at the website, make sure you get that, uh, that update, keep looking at the website, it will be there shortly uh, for your cameras and uh, have a look up at their stuff that are working with Bradley and obviously all the other cameras and things that these JVC can help you with. Um, link is on screen now.
Everything we're doing here at NAV 2015 is, of course, on our website, kitplus.com.